All right, we saw how a project manager can create a sprint and assign user stories out to team members. Now let's be an individual contributor, maybe we're an administrator or a developer, and we need to update our user stories. So we see the sprints that we're a part of over here at left and the stories that have been assigned to us over here in the middle. And we can select any story and we can change the percent complete or change the planned work or other information about the story. And we can make a pull request which will move the story out of development and into deployment and remove it from the list. You can also take a source or destination snapshot. So this interface is a lot like the deployment interface. The source of metadata for your user story comes from the source snapshot and the assets that you can delete are in the destination snapshot. So you need to be sure that your snapshots are up to date and you can click this button if you want to. All right, so when you select a story, you can go to the next tab. And this is where we have our before deployment tasks. So these are manual setup tasks or institutional things that you need to do to notify people or various other activities. And over here at left, we have task templates where you can select any template that you want and move it into the before task list. And the other thing you can do is you can also uh, move any of these tasks up or down in the list to control the order because that might be important. You can manage these tasks and you see everyone has a name, everyone has a category, everyone has an owner, and you can also have various activities for the task. For example, you can launch a browser, require confirmation, or actually enter a command line for the task. And the command line will run when the task is executed, and then you'll get the results in the final report. So when you set up before deployment tasks that you want, go to the next tab. And now here we see the assets that are in the job list for this particular task. So I can move whatever assets I'm working with into the job list. And I can, of course, I can select any of the different types that I have available to me. And this is the create job list of the assets that are part of my user story. And you'll see that some of these assets are in red. And this shows you overlap awareness. If any other team member is doing something with that asset in the same sprint, these will be in red and you'll be notified that there's some overlap. And that might be just fine or it might be something that you want to talk to them about. And you can see when you get the information, you can get their email address and the name of the other team members that are working on this asset. All right, you can select assets to delete and you can also have after task here that you can set up in the same way as the before tasks. And when you're all ready, then you can update your user story. And so you can look at any of your create or delete assets and test them against the destination org to make sure that it's a valid deployment. And you can look at your before and after tasks. If you click on something, you'll get more information about overlaps with other team members. We see a number of people are working on the account object. And then when you're ready to go, you can update your story. And just like that, we've created a user story associated with the selected sprint.